the 2017 Nissan Pathfinder is both the past and the future. Perspective is important for this crossover. Nissan says it's one of the most extensive mid-cycle refreshes in company history, which is public relations speak for a moderate refresh. There are three major areas of differentiation from the previous model, revisions to the V6 engine, increased towing capacity, and a light front and rear restyling. Nissan did tweak a lot of suspension and steering aspects, to little discernible effect. The steering is 11% quicker, making it competent but still unremarkable. Same with the stiffer springs and revised shock rebound rates. Nissan claims it all improves handling by half a gram and reduces understeer, but do you have a skid pad and a road course? No one cares as long as it drives nicely, which it definitely does. It's a plush riding crossover, comfortable without being wallowy, which is exactly how it should be. The Pathfinder has a CVT, a transmission type that doesn't get high marks for feel or long-term reliability. But Nissan has been in the CVT game a long time and the software that controls this Zetronic branded unit is pretty much as good as it gets. It helps that the V6 has a generous amount of power, so in most situations revs stay low and the transmission can do its thing, simulating gear shifts at points that are familiar to a traditional automatic owner. Stomp on it and the revs come up as it scoots away, but things calm down as soon as you've reached the appointed velocity. This is a powertrain that feels competent and natural in this application, with few missteps. While the 2017's more squared off, blunder look is more handsome than the outgoing Pathfinder, if you'd never seen either before you'd be hard pressed to discern which is replacing the other. The new one only looks new because it more closely matches the rest of the brand's refresh lineup, 